Hello my lovely Aquarius, thank you very much for tuning in to your monthly reading for July 2016 with me Lorian. Um, just a quick explanation for those of you who have returned to me. Um, I know, you know I normally do this on my altar now, but because of issues with my laptop um, I had to buy a new webcam to go with my PC so I'm no longer at my altar. Um, for this month, hopefully I will be able to do it again for August, um, but that would require me buying a new laptop and I don't have that at the moment, so um, we're at my computer desk at the moment in time, I do do some tarot readings and the Skype readings certainly at this particular one, um, so if you do have a Skype reading with me in future, you'll see with this new HD camera, um, be able to talk to me that way. Um, but it is strange, HD camera still makes everything look a bit blanched out and too white. Um, so hopefully I can sort that out eventually. But this is going to be a reading for the general reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. If it is more of a personal reading that you would like designed especially for you, just go to my link on the link below and um, it gives you all sorts of options for readings with me and I'll be happy to help you with any questions that you have as well. If you want to follow me on Twitter and Facebook all that information's there too and I look forward to seeing you following me and so we can interact a bit more and just spread some loving messages around the world. I think everybody needs it right now. So let's have a look and see what's coming up for July. Let's have a see. So as always I would invite you to just cleanse your energy, see what information is coming through for us in July. Now as some of you may know, if you've watched this before, Aquarians are some of my favourite people and I'm really hoping that we've got, whoa, we've got some really interesting things coming through for you. That was a whole chunk that flew themselves at me then, it wanted me to take a really long reading for you. They seem to say that's okay, so. Alrighty. Okay, okay. And now I have to move you so I can see properly. Wow. Okie dokie. Sorry, I should mention this is the Druid Craft Tarot that I'm using at the moment. Oh. Uh, there's not much room around here, but I've got all my witchy books and everything, so forgive me. Oh, did you see that? I hope you saw that. Wow, okay. It's kind of cool. You are my first video that I'm doing at the moment. So, <laughs> if I'm a little bit wondering where to put things, that's why. Okie dokie. Awesome. Let me just see if this helps. Mm, there we go. So, we have the Princess of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, we have the Lovers, and we have the Chariot. And here we have a delightful card that decided to literally spring out of the deck. So this is Karma. And I know everyone already knows or has a concept of what Karma is. Um, but to be honest, I feel this is something a lot stronger than just what people say in general. You know what I mean? I feel that this is something more to do with... Okay, worrying that the past is going to come back to haunt you. And they're saying that very specifically. I believe that in a lot of these readings, we do have to kind of make a certain choice and a certain path to kind of forgive ourselves for anything that we have done in the past or... If, you know, for instance, I should have seen that coming. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. I should. I'm so stupid. I should have seen it. Don't beat yourself up about it. If there is something that you feel like you should have done or you should have seen, kind of let that go. Similarly, I see in this reading that you should be paying attention to what seems very karmically in tune with yourself. Almost like this is what I'm made to do. This is what I'm meant to do. Um, because if I don't know whether you can see all the like DNA strands and you know that kind of thing, this is your markup basically. Everybody is here to do something 
So please don't worry if you feel like you've messed up in the past. It's not karma coming back to bite you on the behind. It's just something to say, we need this resolved or we need this done. And here we also have the Princess of Cups. She's absolutely gorgeous. I hope you can see her. Um, when she appears in the reading, it's often to do with... Well, I'm trying to find the right words. Emotional changes, emotional messages, letting go of emotional issues. Um, but it's deeper than that. Because it's the true of Craft Tarot, it is a lot deeper than that. And I honestly feel that there is something within her at this moment in time that kind of calls upon you to look at what you feel like you're not doing strong enough. If you know what I mean, I hope you know what I mean. I'm just getting some information now, actually. Don't be fearful of the autumn of change. I think it's kind of like you automatically recognise when something is changing and when something is coming to a natural end. Um, it could be a phase of your life at the moment, it could be something like that, but I do see in this card that you just have to take stock and be, you know, kind of you can appreciate the memories and things like that, but embrace the change. Embrace what's coming through. I see this as really positive, and I hope you do too, because without change we stagnate. And, you know, she's a water bearer, she's bearing water, she's, you know, you're, as, as an Aquarius, so I feel that you are on the right path, but you just need to kind of change it up a little bit. And here we have the Five of Pentacles, and this I believe is saying, please don't worry about this change that's coming through, don't feel the need to... Um, limit yourself about certain things. I honestly believe that there is something here for you in the near future. Um, it's almost like there's a dog chasing a rabbit there. And I feel like sometimes you may f be of the impression of you're kind of being chased away from your dream or you know there's too much competition or there's no way in hell that you can actually get there to where you need to be. My job is to tell you that's a load of bunkum and that you can get where you need to go. There is a melancholy here. I think, again, it's to do with changes that maybe are beyond your control, but utilise the change whenever you possibly can into something that you can use. I do see this actually as being, you know, the beginning of the month. You know, you may be like, oh, no, you know, I need to let it go or it's not what I thought it was or something like that. Don't worry about it because we have the lovers and we have the chariot. You know... The Lovers here, I think it's such a great intimate card, it's kind of just complete bliss with each other, just really embracing each other. Yeah, you've got a little peepo <laughs> of a little doe there, um, but to me it's kind of like being at unison with yourself. For those of you who are trying to get over an ex or something before you find love, I think this is possibly what it means. At the beginning of the month, you may be like, oh no, it's coming to an end. Or you may think your relationship's coming to an end, and then this happens. Um, or, for those of you, again, who are getting over somebody, this actually unites the love that you feel within you. Because this means both um, masculine and feminine energies are united within you too. So you've got a multiple array here within the third week of July that you could actually start to feel okay I deserve love again and everybody deserves love to be honest if you can treat somebody with respect you certainly deserve love um, they just said the blossoms of something new is springing too late oh I get it sorry it's just that they're saying, um, you know, the blossoms of spring and everything, you know, it's not spring yet. Um, well, it's summer now, so it's a bit late. So whatever this karmic energy is coming through for you, it was meant to be in spring, but I think it's been delayed. Um, it may be because of everything that's happened in the world. It's just taken its time to get to you. But this is a really strong, emotional, loving feeling that I'm getting for the third week of July. And I actually believe that this ties in very well with the chariot. I mean, it's the next card as well. I'm from the lovers, but I feel like once you've got to love whatever it is you're doing or kind of settled on, yes, this is what I meant to be doing, this is my heart healing, this is my relationship getting deeper, this is me saying I don't need no partner or whatever, 
whatever that is, then you can move on from that. But you need to make sure that you have both your head and your heart in unison and that your compass is very set to your moral direction. But also, there's a phrase that I enjoy and that I live by. And it's kind of borrowing from Wicca. I'm not a Wiccan, but with my witchy practice, a lot of witches have adopted do no harm, but take no shit. And I think this is basically what you have to do. You don't need to do harm to anybody to assert your path. You know, you don't have to wish ill on others. You don't have to, you know, create a lot of issues or anything. And that's what the moral compass here has things to say. But at the same time, if you face a battle, like this woman seems very stoic in, in battle, if you face a challenge, you don't have to bow down just because you don't want to hurt somebody else's feelings. You, you know, if they're coming at you with harm, don't take it. You can battle them without lowering yourself to their vibration. So that's kind of what I feel this card is saying. It's kind of a kick-ass month for you, Aquarius, to be honest. It's um, not what I expected for you. It's a good thing. Though, I know some of you may be going, Oh, I don't want to feel melancholy, or I don't want to feel that, or I don't see this happening. You won't until it does. You may not even realise you're feeling it until actually, oh yeah. I remember Lorian saying something about that. So just kind of release energy as much as you can. And don't worry if the first two weeks of July go a little bit upside down or that you feel kind of emotional things from the past raising their heads here. Don't worry about that because you're going to sort it out by the end of the month. And I really do feel it's going to be a brilliant time for you to do that. As always, if it is more personal reading dedicated to you that you'd like from me, just go to the link below. It takes you straight to the readings page of my website. And also, thank you for denoting on Patreon and my website too. Every single donation gets a three reading, three card reading, and also that goes towards the improvement of this website. I mean, even this camera was bought with your, um, you know, reading money because. I want to improve the HD quality and be it so you can able to see the cards. And also I'm hoping to bring more cards in eventually. Um, but yeah, this is basically all for you. I thank you to those who have subscribed and I thank you to those who are just, just discovering me now and sticking with me. Thank you so much for your love and support. I think it's almost been, I think it has been a year now since I first started this channel and it just keeps getting better and better and I love speaking to you all. So let me know how this goes for you Aquarius and it will be a pleasure to read for you in the very very near future.